Hey, this is the tutorial for creating the presentation for the train, the assembly that we just did. We're going to do a standard.ipn, create our view, our train, hit OK. Now we're going to start pulling this apart. And the main thing to remember is don't pull any parts through another part. Uh, just to make, you know, make sure that you're pulling them separately. Uh, to where they're not like a bolt's not going through the body of of the train or something like that. Uh, you can pull mul you know multiple parts out at the same time, like I'm going to do here with the pegs. And I always uncheck this box that says display trails. I just don't like the blue lines. We're going to pull those out, and I'm going to set this to three and a half inches. Hit the check mark. Hit clear. We're going to go back in here, grab the linkage arm. Pull it off, and we'll set it to a distance of two and a half. And we're going to do the wheels the same way, or actually the axle pegs first, and then the wheels. Go around to the other side and repeat. And you can put the direction wherever you want to. You don't have to put it on the part that you're actually going to be pulling. So we're going to pull these out. And we're going to set this to 3.5. Clear. our linkage arm pull our axle pegs This can be a bit of a tedious process, but it does make a big impact when you show somebody, you know, the the final product and they can see the work that you put into it. We're about pulling off the last couple parts here. here and 
the cow catcher. Now if you hit animate, you will see that it will start assembling itself back together. Um, but it it's not very clear because some of the parts will go together and you won't be able to watch it. So what I like to do is go to the funnel here and select the sequence view. Then select the task. And if you click the sequence, it will show you the part that you're working with. And you can right click, hit edit, set camera and apply and you can scroll this around um, I actually like the view here but I'm going to zoom in on this one but you can uh, use your your orbit tools and things like this and actually move yourself around to get into a position that you you want to see that part from so we'll go with, with that one for right there edit set camera and apply and we need to go to the back edit, set camera and apply and you just keep doing this for all the parts and just setting the camera to where uh, you get the best possible view of those parts being assembled And now when you hit animate, I'm going to speed this up a little, but you can hit play and you'll see it'll snap around to where the, um, the camera that uh, was set that you applied. Uh, so once you get all that set, go ahead and save uh, the assembly and the, or the save the presentation and you are done with the assembly and presentation and all the parts. Now it's time for the dimensioning.